Hello, second graders. Today I'm going to read you one of my favorites, Alexander and the Terrible, Horrible, No Good, Very Bad Day. Excuse me. Alexander and the Terrible, Horrible, No Good, Very Bad Day. Oh, man, who's had days like this? I went to sleep with gum in my mouth and now there's gum in my hair. And when I got out of bed this morning, I tripped on the skateboard and by mistake, I dropped my sweater in the sink while the water was running and I could tell it was gonna be a terrible, horrible, no good, very bad day. Look at his face. Doesn't look happy, does he? He's already starting off with kind of, I kind of say sometimes attitude is everything. At breakfast, Anthony found a Corvette Stingray car kit in his breakfast cereal box, and Nick's, Nick found a junior undercover agent code ring in his breakfast cereal box. But in my breakfast cereal box, all I found was breakfast cereal. Man, do they still put toys in cereal? I don't know if they do that. I think I'll move to Australia now, Australia is a continent. Does anyone know how many continents we have? We have seven continents. We live on North America, and Australia's, they call it down under. They have koalas, kangaroos. Here we go, they're doing carpool. In the carpool, Mrs. Gibson let Becky have a seat by the window. Audrey and Elliot got seats by the window too. I said I was being scrunched. I said I was being smushed. I said, if I don't get a seat by the window, I'm going to be car sick. Nobody even answered. I could tell it was going to be a terrible, horrible, no good, very bad day. At school, Mrs. Dickens liked Paul's picture of the sailboat better than my picture of the invisible castle. Invisible castle? He didn't draw anything. At singing time, she said I sang too loud. At counting time, she said I left out 16. Who needs 16? I could tell it was gonna be a terrible, horrible, no good, very bad day. I could tell because Paul said I wasn't his best friend anymore. He said that Philip Parker was his best friend and that Albert Moya was his next best friend and that I was only his third best friend. Oh, I hope you sit on a tack, I said to Paul. I hope the next time you get a double-decker strawberry ice cream cone, the ice cream part falls off the cone part and lands in Australia. Do you know that it takes 16 hours to get there in an airplane? That's a long time. There were two cupcakes in Philip Parker's lunch bag, and Albert got a Hershey bar with almonds. I'm allergic, I think. And Paul's mother gave him a piece of jelly roll that had little coconut sprinkles on the top. Guess whose mother forgot to put in dessert? It was a terrible, horrible, no good, very bad day. That's what it was, because after school, my mom took us all to the dentist and Dr. Fields found a cavity just in me. Come back next week and I'll fix it, said Dr. Fields. Next week, I said, I'm going to Australia. On the way downstairs, the, ele the elevator door closed on my foot while we were waiting for my mom to go get the car. Anthony made me fall where it was muddy. And when I started crying because of the mud, Nick said I was a crybaby. And Well, I was punching Nick for saying crybaby. My mom came back from the car and scolded me for being muddy and fighting. I am having a terrible, horrible, no good, very bad day. I told everybody. No one even answered. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. So then we went to the shoe store to buy some sneakers. You think it's going to go his way? I doubt it. Anthony chose white ones with blue stripes. Nick chose red ones with white stripes. I chose blue ones with red stripes, but then the shoe man said, we're all sold out. They made me buy plain old white ones, but they can't make me wear them. <sighs> when we picked up my dad at the office, he said I couldn't play with his copying machine, but I forgot. He also said to watch out for the books on his desk, and I was careful 
as could be, except for my elbow. Where's your elbow? Sometimes that pointy elbow gets in the way. He also said, don't fool around with this phone, but I think I called Australia. My dad said, please don't pick him up anymore. It was a terrible, horrible, no good, very bad day. Look at all the papers. And then look at his little face. It looks pretty innocent to me. <laughs> there were lima beans for dinner. I hate lima beans. There was kissing ugh, on TV and I hate kissing. My bath was too hot. I got soap in my eyes. My marble went down the drain and I had to wear my railroad train pajamas. Are you serious? I hate my railroad train pajamas. Oh, I like those. They're not bad. When I went to bed, Nick took back the pillow he said I could keep and the Mickey Mouse now nightlight burned out and I bit my tongue. That hurts. The cat wants to sleep with Anthony, not me. It has been a terrible, horrible, no good, very bad day. My mom says, some days are like that. Even in Australia.